May 5th, 2018, first camping trip of the year up at the East Branch of the Sacandaga River. I'm actually on the opposite side of eight, so I'm from the East Branch. It's at the camp, well, campsite uh, about a mile uh, west of Fox Lair. It's an old house site and has nice, uh, nice hard ground, and um, you know it's a little bit farther off the road. Has a good backstop for doing some shooting too. Um, I like this time of year because the ground's never soft up here, and it's a little bit more of an open site, so that uh, when I'm uh, with the wind blowing around last night, which it was, because there was those, the tornado warning and the high wind warning. You know, there's also a lot of trees falling on the campsite, and no trees did fall on the campsite. I heard a couple of trees crack in the woods around 10 o'clock with the heavy winds, but it uh, wasn't too bad. I was setting up in the pouring rain last night, which is why I didn't do any video or get the camera out, because it was pouring rain, and the rain stopped. Literally, the rain started, oh, I'd say 15 minutes before I got to camp, and it rained for another 15 minutes, maybe a half hour after I set up camp. But fortunately I had, uh, I brought some wood up here, some of the Stuart's wood, and I had some uh, garbage I brought up to burn, and uh, I got a broad fire going, and had a nice fire, I got the lantern up and working, I had to get a new globe, I had to go to Gloversville, and uh, stop the Walmart there, because they're the only ones that had a globe. But the lantern is nice and bright now, because the old globe, I'll show you, um, the old globe I broke when I dropped it, and it was so dirty from uh, the soot, because I got from the lantern at the lower level, and uh, yeah, I had to replace that. Camp stove, ate some eggs somewhere, I had to clean up that mess. Uh, preparing, I had brought the heater, I haven't used it much, but uh, I did have it. Um, unfortunately, my, uh, I forgot to bring the camera battery charger and all the batteries are almost dead. Uh, I, got, I got a little radio now that I bought a while back. Rather use my cell phone uh, uh, radio built in, because the problem with that is when I'm using the phone sometimes the radio shuts off and uh, also, the headphone jack isn't working right on the cell phone, so yeah. Here's my camper, big jacked up truck. Um, yeah, I don't keep the shotgun in the rack uh, while I'm sleeping, obviously, but in the daytime I like having it up there just to look at it because it's easy to grab if I need to chase something out of the campsite. I love having the windows, so they, they, they fold open like this, gets a lot of ventilation in the daytime, it's easy to get in and out. Uh, big red, all the supplies are up front. And I'll take you out to the road and see, show you the road around the campsite, maybe into it. Don't know how much more battery I have left on this camera, because unfortunately I left the battery charger at home for the camera. But, uh, do as much of it as I can. Other than that, I'll just use cell phone photos, I guess, the campsite. Cause I've, been, I've taken plenty of photos of this East Branch campsite before. So, cause I've been up, I've come up here dozens of times. Not my favorite campsite, it's a little noisy at times. But, uh, it is definitely a nice place to camp in the spring when you worry about the roads being soft and a lot of the roads are closed in the Adirondacks this time of year. So yeah, there's the campsite, I'll just zoom in. And uh, going on three minutes and 30 seconds, so I'm sure you don't want to watch me rant about my campsite for the next 20 minutes. So yeah, this is camp. I like it up here, up the Adirondacks, East Branch, Sockendaga River. Uh, it's the cope of the clouds and clear It's a beautiful sunny day. Maybe do some hiking and some fishing. I'm just worried the trail's being really wet. Um, have my turkey tag, but I doubt I'll fill it, but, yeah. Yeah, you can hear the road traffic from here. That's kind of a downside of this campsite, but still a nice one. I enjoy being up here.